before I get to fit the box um, and amp and run the zero gauge, I'm finishing off the big three. So they were already done. I split tubed those. They're the two negatives. But um, so here's the positive. I'm just using my old JCAR wire that I used to use in my Commodore. Um, I just want to use it up. Uh, I'm not going to ever. I've already cut out the factory one, so if I ever sell the car, it's going to come with this anyway. So I'm not going to use my good new concept stuff. Positive, factory positive, factory something else. I think I go to the fuse box. Yep, big fat zero gauge running there to the alt. And there's a big fat ground just there to the chassis, and then a ground to the factory ground. So just before I was going to put it in the car, I've got to think of a way of mounting it. Now, I was thinking, I bought these, I was going to put these on the back. Obviously, the box is going to be sitting down normal. But I was, you know, going to attach those to it and whack them into the floor. I've got three of them. But um, that's not going to work because the floor under the car in the wagon is steel underneath. Um, the front part of the boot's wood, but the back part's steel, where the box is actually be sitting. And I don't really want to screw down because that right under that's the fuel tank, etc. So I thought I'd have to come up. Well, I decided I'd come up with a new idea. And the other thing is, could use you know rock straps. Um, you like strap them to the back of the box. I don't like those things, and then you leave holes in the box. So what I've come up with, this is probably for for plaster or something. Normally you'd hammer them in this way. You're joining things, but um, these costs for this strip of 10 of them, it costs 65 cents. So, like, I've just used one strip and broke them into twos, and then I've got the air nail gun and nailed them in. So they're just attached, they're going to move. So, uh, just to give you a demonstration, there's the box. Flip it upside down. Okay, now this is just on a carpet rug. Obviously the box slides, so we'll do the same in the boot. Obviously the boot's carpeted, or the back of the wagon, so when we put it down, now, onto the spikes, no matter how hard I push it, it won't move. So I'm going to be putting a 100 amp fuse in the back where the amp is, and I'll put a 300 in the front. Um, because the 300 will be staying in there. The 100 might change if I put a bigger amp in there at some point, which I probably will. Um, so just one runner zero gauge from the front to the rear. So first off, I'm mounting my fuse in the front here. So that is the factory fuse cover block, whatever you want to call it. Just goes on that. So all I've done is screw it onto the side there. Um, obviously it's got a little cover. Um, it'll just sit there. So I just I had this little off cut, I just wanted to use it and not cut a little scabby bit for nothing, so he'll just do a little loop there. And that's why I need the flexi stuff, because like that's a pretty small gap I made for myself there. But the flexi stuff can easily get around that corner. I've still got a split tube it though. Zero gauge all there, neat. Big run around there, put a zip tie there with a screw in it, keeps it like that. Um, and it just runs back into the factory grommet there. So for the negative, um, I'm using one of the seatbelt bolts. Obviously it's a strong bolt, but it's a good ground. Um, so I just drilled that out. Then with a step drill. So, because it was, you know, obviously the hole was too small to start with, I think they're quarter inch or whatever. But there we go. That's that. So there we have zero gauge. Um, totally overkill, because this AM only has four gauge inputs, but zero gauge. Um, RCA's 4000 series singers. I made the ground, even though it's going there, I made it about foot and a half too long, just like same with the positive, is a foot and a half too long. Reason being is these will reach to the back corner of the car um, because as I said I will probably put a battery in here at some point so I want to make sure I can you know, hook them up to the battery. So I'm doing the zero gauge um, you know, and with four gauge adapters here. Now the problem being is I went and bought these uh, before I even looked at the amp, I'm an idiot, but um, the positive and negative are next to each other so if you look when I put the positive in is going to touch the negative. So obviously that's not going to work. Um, so what I'm going to do though, I'm still going to use them, I'm going to heat shrink them uh, and then I'm going to tape them. There is the amp mounted as high as physically possible because there's like this metal strip and it's still the tightest fit to get that zero gauge in. Luckily I've got the flexible Kuna co new concept stuff because ah, <laughs> it is close because as you can see where it's bending um, and that's because I've used the zero gauge adapters. 
which are all taped and everything, and then I had to grind those down to get those to fit. You had to grind the insides down and the bit that goes in. But there's the box. I didn't get to hook up my lights though yet, so I'm going to do that now. The uh, purple lights on the inside. I'm going to hook them up to the headlight switch, so when the headlights are on, they're on. So I can still show them off in the day if I want to just, you know, all I have to do is turn my headlights on. Um, I made that a little neater. I had a zip tied. Yeah, it has to crease there. That's where it, when it folds up. And I just zip tied the RCS to that zero gauge. And it runs down there. There's the wires from the box. Nothing fancy. Um, I'm going to be running, when I get some 8, I haven't got any 8 gauge at the moment. I'm going to be buying a bunch of red and blue 8 gauge. When I do, I'll redo those of 8 gauge, but that's just doubled up 14 at the moment. Alright, so you're going to sit here in the boot while I burp it. I uh, found 50 hertz seems to be about loudest at the moment. I'm using, I'm just using the DD1 test tone, so they jump up in fives. I'll do a 40, a 45, and a 50. Now, I just want to show you, I'll, after I burp them, I'll show you how stiff these subs are. Alright, now to show you, these subs are still, I'm pushing on that, not, you know, not softly, super stiff. These are, you know, brand new, and they're quite stiff, as I told you when I bought these. These look like SPL subs, okay? Whether or not they perform that well, they seem to be going alright so far, on this, even on this power, but um, they're quite stiff woofers, they're not low, loose, so it's probably going to take a while to wear them in. And then we have the box and the purple light in the back so at night still you know if you're driving in a low car you're not going to even notice four wheel drive might see it but I mean that's all you're going to see is that cool purple glow in there it's really not much brighter than it looks on camera through the tint it's a little bit purple more pinky than that it looks kind of blue on camera but uh, otherwise yeah that's about it box don't move at all been driving around that's two days worth of driving it's had Box does not move with those feet, little uh, spikes. So that's perfect. Amps installed. Yeah, I'm happy. She's done. Um, I'm going to deaden the tailgate. I've taken that off. I'm going to deaden that. Definitely needs that. Needs the roof done too, but that's a lot of work. So for now, I'm just going to do the tailgate. To get this car to sound good, would need a shitload of deaden. I mean, like, maybe 100, 120 square feet. There's just... Let me just show you, for instance. Is this... This isn't a big panel, but... At least it's nice and clean now, so the deadener actually stick to it. So what I'm doing now is this inner layer. Um, I would put a layer on here uh, as well, but I'm planning on putting a reversing camera on it. It's three whole sheets, which is, uh, geez, I don't know, four, maybe four or five square feet in there. And that's just the inside. Um, I did that bit in the middle, because that's not going to affect when I put a camera in. So that's that. So I've got the base knob, I've pulled it apart. Um, this is just a one way of mounting it. It's supposed to come with some little metal things so you can just slide it on, but it didn't come with it, so that's good. That's not Sonic's, so that's Rockford's fault. So this old Corona only had two blanks, and you wouldn't believe how perfect they were. That's the blank, the factory blank, look at that. It fit the voltmeter absolutely perfect. And then the other blank, well I've customised it and put my base knob in it, but um, I didn't cut it out or anything, it's just a hole. I just took the little silver face off and glued it on there. And then that's the bag with a bit of hot glue. So yeah, that's my base knob and my stinger voltmeter. Finally, we're done. Um, I've got it hooked up. That's the base knob there, hooked up. Um, I've got the um, power for the voltmeter going into the fuse there. I would have put it into the amp, but with these fucking zero gauge things, I'm not going to do that. So that's there. I'm going to put the seat back in there. Besides that, she's done. Now I have to re-DD1 it because what this does is I had my punch EQ on zero. Now, um, what this does is actually, when it's on full, it makes the punch EQ. So when I was turning it up full, I had my gain set and I was turning the bass up. That's like terrible distortion. So what I've done is I've turned the gain down, reset it. Now the gain's on about a third as compared to about probably 70%. But that's fine. But the difference is when this is fully up, it's still clean. And when this is fully down, the bass is pretty much off. No, it looks cool. All right, I'm going to start the car. It's in the garage, so I won't be able to do it too long. I'll fume myself out, but it's in neutral, cool. And um, I'm just going to play. I'll, I'll go and get my iPad so we can play music. And I just want to show you the, the voltage drop. Holy crap. Look how much voltage that fan uses. <laughs> anyway, 14.8. I have calibrated this too. 
and that's what the amp's saying. It could even be more at the front. As you can see, the resting voltage ain't too bad, 14.7, 14.8, that's good. Uh, but as you can see, the voltage dropped there, that's not even that bassy a song. Um, that's just a standard song, so, but yeah, it already drops down to the 12s. With it. Um, that's just that little 30 amp, ba 30 amp hour battery in the front, full river. So it's a good battery, it's just small. So I'm going to whack a big one in the back, so we have no voltage drop pretty much um, on this kind of power. Anyway, guys, I think that's about it for this install. Uh, yeah. So you can stay tuned for the uh, base video, which will be the next video on my channel.